So this is the second video on fixed point iteration. Now this question says solve cos x minus x equal to zero using fixed point iteration with an initial guess of 0 0.5. So the equation given to us here is simply cos x minus x. So we have cos x minus x to be equal to zero. And we're giving initial guess x naught to be equal to 0 0.5. So in the first video, I explained that the very first thing to do is to rewrite this equation to be of the form x is equal to g of x, which means make x subject of the equation from the given equation. Now, there are two ways of making x subject of the equation. You can make x from cos x. You can also make the particular x subject of the equation. So let's make this one first, the subject. Let's simply send negative x to this side of the equation. It means that we are going to be having x to be equal to x to be equal to what? Cos x. This is the first way. The other way of making x subject of a formula is from cos x. So simply, x can also be equal to the cos inverse of x. So these are two ways of making x subject of the equation from that particular equation. Now, the next thing I say is that since you've gotten g of x now in both cases um in both cases x is simply equal to g of x so over here g of x from here is equal to cos x so from here g of g of x is simply cos x and from here g of x is simply equal to cos inverse of x then i said to now know which of this g of x we are going to be using to carry out our iteration you have to test that the absolute value of the derivative of this function g prime of x at the given point must be less than one so which means differentiate each of this g of x then at the point of iteration in this case x not equal to 0 0.5 the value must be less than one so let's do this and see so for the first case if i differentiate cos x i will simply have what negative sign x so g prime of x from here is going to be equal to negative sine x over here g prime of x if i differentiate a cos x i will simply have negative one all over the square root of one minus x squared so we have this now we've gotten the derivative let's now plug in the value of the initial guess um okay first let's obtain the their absolute value right so the absolute value become the absolute value of g prime of x from this side of the equation is going to be equal to the absolute value of sine x. So once you take the absolute value, it becomes a positive value. So this simply becomes what? Sine x. Similarly, the absolute value of g prime of x over here is going to also be the absolute value of negative 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So if you do this, negative becomes positive. So you simply have 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x all squared. You have this. So we've gotten the absolute values. Let's now plug in the initial guess. Initial guess there is what? 0 0.5. x not equals 0 0.5. Let's plug into the equation and see to know which one we're going to be using for our iteration. So for the first case, the absolute value of g prime of 0 0.5 is now going to be equal to sine 0 0.5 so let's see what sine 0 0.5 gives to us so sine 0 0.5 is approximately 0 0.0087 0 0.0087 and this is actually less than one but let's confirm on this other side of the equation to see so the absolute value of g prime of 0 0.5 from here is now going to be equal to one all over the square root of 1 minus 0 0.5 all squared, right? So let's compute everything just to save time. Okay, this can also be written as simply 1 all over the square root of um, 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25. 1 minus 0 0.25 gives us 0 0.75. So let's compute everything. Square root of 0 0.75. So 1 divides by that answer. This simply gives us 1.15. 1.1547 approximately so we have um this result gives us 1.15 this is 1.154 
and this is greater than one so which means we are not using this other part of the equation rather we're using the one that gives us less than one so it means we're going to be working with um the function um x equal to or g of x equal to sine x that is what we're going to be using to carry out our iteration and that is simply because we stated earlier that the law says the absolute value of the derivative at the given point must be less than one for the equation to converge faster so if you use this particular equation you're not going to be obtaining um if you use x equal to cos inverse of x to carry out this iteration it is not going to converge at all it will keep jumping from one value to another so this is how you know which of the equation is perfect to use to carry out your fixed point iteration so now we know that we are using g of x is, is simply equal to what cos x to carry out our iteration let's begin now the iteration all right so now that you know which of the equation to use um simply x equals cos x which can otherwise be written as g of x equals cos x so we perform the first iteration not forgetting the fixed point iteration formula is xn plus one equals g of xn while for the first iteration n is equal to zero so if n is equal to zero then this equation becomes x zero plus one which will give us x1 and that gives us the very first root x1 and x1 is going to be equal to g of x naught because n is equal to zero so that simply means plugging the value of x s naught which is 0 0.5 into the equation of g of x so this becomes cos 0 0.5 but not forgetting i always say this in all my iteration videos whenever you're iterating trigonometric functions you have to always set your calculator on radian so you don't just put the calculator in degrees to solve you simply set it in radian to solve that will give you more accurate value than when it is in degrees okay so we are now going to find cos cos 0 0.5 so remember to put your calc in radian and if you do this you are going to have 0 0.8776 approximately 0 0.8776 approximately so you perform the second iteration for the second iteration n becomes one so that means it becomes x1 plus one which is equal to what x2 right so you have x2 to now be equal to this becomes g of x1 so this means that you're going to plug the previous value back into the equation for g of x which is cos x so it becomes cos 0 0.8776 so x2 is simply going to be cos 0 0.8776 so remember to put your calculator in radial mode and if you do that you're going to have approximately 0 0.6390 so you have 0 0.6390 so the same thing for the third root x3 so you simply plug in the value of the previous root into the equation that becomes cos 0 0.6390 and if you do this you're going to have 0 0.8027 approximately so you have 0 0.8027 approximately for the fourth root x4 is going to be equal to so you plug in 0 0.8027 now into the equation that becomes cos 0 0.8027 and if you do that you're going to have 0 0.6948 approximately so you have 0 0.6948 so you're carrying on with the fifth root for the fifth root x5 equals this also becomes cos now you plug in the previous value 0 0.6948 so this is going to be equal to 0 0.7682 approximately 0 0.7682 approximately so you find the sixth root so you iterate until at least it converges to two or three decimal places before you can stop your iteration okay so this this is going to now be equal to cos 0 0.7682 and if you do this the value simply gives you 0 0.7221 still not converged you perform the seventh iteration x7 is going to now be equal to cos 
0 0.7221 so this is going to be equal to not forgetting to put your calculator in radial mode that gives us approximately 0 0.7504 So you perform the 8 iteration. So x8 is going to be equal to cos 0 0.7504. This is now going to be equal to, so this is approximately 0 0.7314. You have 0 0.7314. You perform the ninth iteration x9 also cause 0 0.7314 so this is going to be equal to approximately 0 0.7442 you perform the 10th iteration x10 this is equal to cause 0 0.7442 let's see what it gives us this gives us approximately 0 0.7356. We perform the 11th iteration. X11. This is equal to cos 0 0.7356. Let's see what it gives us. Not forgetting to put your calculator in radial mode. That gives us approximately 0 0.74. One four. We have zero point seven four one four. You perform the twelfth iteration. So guys, you just have to keep performing this iteration until at least two decimal places converges. Zero point seven four one four. So this is going to be equal to. That gives us zero point seven three seven five approximately. So we have 0 0.7375. Okay, still not converge with the previous route. We perform the 13th iteration. So x13 is going to be cos 0 0.7375. This is going to be equal to... So that gives us 0 0.7401 approximately, 0 0.7401. So you see that now the root is um, revolving around 0 0.74 and 0 0.73. So previously we have 0 0.73, here we have 0 0.74, we have 0 0.73, again 0 0.74, which means it is about to converge. So let's try again. We perform the 14th iteration x14 this is going to be equal to cos 0 0.7401 so let's see what we are going to have that gives us once again 0 0.7384 approximately we have 0 0.7384 let's perform another iteration this is now the 15th iteration equals cos 0 0.7384 this is going to be equal to this gives us approximately 0 0.7396 so we have approximately 0 0.7396 0 0.7396 so you see now that correct to two decimal place this route has converged 0 0.73 0 0.73 but let's just perform one more iteration and see what we are going to have so we have um, 16 iteration x16 is going to be equal to cos 0 0.7396 so this is going to be equal to that simply gives us 0 0.7388 so we have 0 0.7388 it. So you see that correct to two decimal place, the root has converged 0 0.73, 0 0.73, and 0 0.73. So which means the correct answer to that equation or the root of that given equation 
is simply x equals 0 0.73 correct to two decimal places all right guys so that's how to employ the root um, that's how to employ fixed point iteration to solving the root of a given equation and the fixed point iteration is a very direct method as compared to every other form of iteration so i will pause here in the next video we are going to be solving more examples on fixed point iteration i'm sure you want to be a part of that video so do well to tap the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on our subsequent videos when it drops i will see you in the next video thanks